It's another lady of the house kind of day, and today I am going to share a young gentleman's bedroom. Welcome back, ladies. Yes, we are inside of my son's bedroom, and this is going to be the end or the wrap up of this whole French inspired, French cottage inspired decor series that I have been sharing with all of you. Now, the only thing that I would say that is really French inspired within this room would probably be the wainscoting, but that is something that I had done to this space when we first started renovating this home. And so this space was originally my office. Now, once upon a time, we did also have my oldest daughter in this room when we were trying to, you know, just see if we can make another room out of it. The only problem with that was that it didn't last very long because she really disliked having people come in and out. She didn't like the foot traffic because there is a back door to the house within this room as well. This room does not have a closet, so we have been using the wardrobe that was attached to the kids' loft beds. They each had a loft bed at one point, and we decided that those were not best for them, and especially my son. His was the first to go because it was, I mean, he's just so tall. I think he's probably 6'3 now, and... Um, you know, it, he was constantly hitting his head when he would get up and it just wasn't a good, good thing for him. So we got him out of there. But anyway, I am going to walk you around this space, share the different things with you that, you know, brought this space together. And one of the first things was the paint. So when you are going to be decorating your children's rooms especially, I would encourage you to present them with options, options that are pretty much pre-approved by you and that you know within your home that you would be most comfortable at least for paint going on the wall. And then also getting their input as far as, you know, of those things that, you know, the palette, for instance, what colors do they like the most and getting that kind of input while still uh, thinking about them and what different things they like and, you know, um, things like that. But don't, don't think that especially if they are not decorating, like they don't have this decorating mentality or, you know, just pulling a whole space together, don't believe that that's something that they really want to do or that they are going to be able to do. It's hard enough, I believe, for someone who has been learning all about that stuff and or who even cares about that kind of stuff to figure a space out and to be able to pull it together well. But then to think that a child will be able to do that or a, or a young, um, you know, even in their teens, they might not care so much about every aspect of it. Um, there might just be a few things here and there that they would like to have input on. And then when you do start bringing a space together with them in mind, more times than not, I would say that they would really like what you end up coming up with if this is going to be something that you are going to take on. So I've taken on this space and that was the color that he chose was winter chill and this was a color that i think flows well into the kitchen even though you know they're completely separate spaces there's a door separating those spaces but i think it goes well because number one i used this color over the dark green that i was using to stencil that space so um I had used winter chill before and I think that it just flows well. The tone of it looks really nice looking into this space and it breaks the space up but it also just makes everything flow very well. So when I look into this space it has a little bit more of a green undertone to it than a, like a baby blue or a, or a light blue. It just has just a very nice color to it. 
and I think it looks very mature and so it can go obviously it can go for a feminine or a masculine color I feel it's it's pretty even and so for that reason I think that it really makes a nice neutral and as you saw in the blue room video it definitely looks beautiful in there and in the blue bathroom but it also looks great in here so one of the things that I went with as far as the theme goes within his room is an adventure theme or just you know maps and so I found this old looking map this canvas at Hobby Lobby and um, my husband was actually the one that decided where to put this so he kind of just put it above the bed it's not exactly you know even but I think that it will be fine and maybe just maybe I might end up adding a, a little plant or something in here but I don't know I didn't want to add too many things in this space because my son is very simple he doesn't like a lot of decor he doesn't like even things on the walls so this was you know I, I was just testing something out just to see and uh, you know we'll sit with it for a while and, and see how that goes but anyway I thought that it didn't draw too much attention to it um, it's very muted but it just adds a little something to the space so the first thing when you walk in to the right would be the bed this we ended up closing one of the double doors and locking it so that we can utilize that space as a wall we needed a little bit more wall space in here so that we could put his bed over here because originally we had it over here with the head of the bed right there and it going out that way now there were a few problems with that such as when you looked into this space from the kitchen if the bed wasn't neatly made, which you could only see part of it, mind you, then it just looked really messy and it looked like a bedroom. And I don't know, it just kind of felt like it just looked a little off, especially looking down the kitchen, which is a galley kitchen. So moving the bed to where it wasn't the first thing that you saw when you look into the space, I think was wonderful. And I think that he, well, I know that he likes the setup of this a lot more than it originally was. Now this um, armoire or wardrobe, whatever you want to call it, it's, it's a wardrobe that has um, a cubby system attached to it, which was part of the loft beds. And so we originally had that right here, like where the map is right now. And there was definitely an issue with that. One of them being that he would often forget to close his wardrobe door and then it would block the little doggy door that we have over there on that wall and so one of the good things about having his bed here is that they can walk underneath his bed and come into this space we just wanted to make sure that if these doors were ever closed that the dogs would still be able to get out their doggy doors out to the backyard to be able to go out there so um, that solved that problem, but also just switching everything around made a lot of sense. Now, I wanted to put a couple of things up on the top just to kind of corral different things that he always takes out of his wallet, um, just so that there is a specific space for those things. And then also he has his cologne up there, he has some deodorant and just a little a little bit of decor up there. Nothing too nothing too adventurous. Okay, but like a little space for him to put his money if he wanted to save for a trip. That was just a little idea that I had in it. It kind of went with the whole theme here. Now all of this stuff I found at Walmart, everything that was on the top. So the little tray that corrals everything and then also even this little green arrangement that I have this I found at Walmart too so those were really great finds and then speaking of finds from Walmart all of these baskets these grass baskets were from Walmart as well now I was thinking I would like something a little bit more rich something that would match maybe this hamper which I found that hamper at Ross um, but 
in all of my searching at this point I have not found anything and and I knew that that size would fit into those cubbies because I also got those for my daughter's room so I just ended up going with those now um, a great thing about how deep these cubbies are that you know there's a little bit of extra space behind them so on the top shelf I ended up putting his extra set of sheets and then the shelf underneath that he has things to clean his shoes that he likes so you know just having all of that set up there it kind of cuts down on the visual clutter when you come into this space or feeling as if you know a lot of stuff is out so I've just been sharing, showing him different things that he can do when it comes to organizing all of his things. And while it may be a very small space, we can utilize these spaces very well and get creative about it so that he can have a very nice, clean, put together space and have a place for everything. I ended up getting, they call them velvet hangers. I ended up getting those because they are so thin and then his items wouldn't fall off of them. And so I think that that was a really good solution for this smaller wardrobe because it is so small and he needed to have plenty of space to hang up all of his shirts and sweatshirts, anything like that. So I think that, um, that was a wonderful solution as opposed to those plastic hangers or even the wood hangers that we have because with the wood hangers you can only put so many in there and um, anyway he and he was telling me just just today how much he liked those hangers so I'm glad that I found those which I found a pack of 35 at Ross and I really like the dark green color it I went with this palette of blue, just different shades of blue, kind of like the ocean, you know, not not trying to get too matchy-matchy on anything, and then also some green, so a little bit of this, it's like a, a bit muted sage green, but just has more of those natural colors to them, and I think that it looks good with the plant and and then I also found a uh, cover for the chair at Walmart as well. And I like how it has the Velcro backing so that I could just attach it to it. And he kept bringing the blue chair that was in my daughter's room in here because he said it was more comfortable. So once I got this for him, then then he said that that was good because it, you know, some cushion for his for his tush so anyway that is something that I think was a nice addition to it doesn't match exactly but one of the things I just wasn't going to do in here was be too matchy matchy so I found some uh, curtains at Walmart as well this was a little bit lighter than his bedding and I don't know if I said but his bedding came from Ross great deal $20 for the comforter with the sham and then I got two sets of sheets from there as well so they were just really nice sets and I went with a small stripe for the ones that are on there now and then I think the other one was by Nautica and it's a stripe as well but it's a different a little bit different of a stripe so anyway then we also have a lamp a brown lamp that we were given by a friend uh, she gave us two matching ones but I thought that one would suffice in here and the other one is in my daughter's room now but um, then he just has this desk which was originally a desk that I purchased for my office when I was at the old house and um, it has a lot of storage in it and it, I just think that it works out well for him he's been using that for years and then you know a place for his shoes and any and all extra storage that he needs he has underneath his bed so we have a lot of plastic containers down there that you know he can easily slide in and out and you know put different things that maybe he doesn't want to have out and so it's really just a very well used space and just done to, in a way that makes a lot of sense. It's functional and it's very simple, which are things, those are, that is what he likes, is just to keep it simple. So eventually I would like to have 
a hook system. Now I was at um, Hobby Lobby. I found one that kind of matched the wood that I was using in here. So I'm thinking something like that, maybe a little bit more industrial as well, um, but with that wood. So eventually if I find something that I really like, I might end up getting that. But really that's all that there is to share about this space. It's, it's simple, it's easy, and it's so easy for him to keep up and keep clean. Now this bed frame, we found this on Amazon and he already had the mattress. So um, I just think that it, it works out well in this space. We couldn't, he originally had a full bed in here, but it was just taking up way too much space in here. He ended up not wanting that in here. So a twin works out well for him. The best thing about this is that hamper. It's so big. It's a lot bigger than the one that he originally had, which I got him this canvas one, and sometimes it would kind of fold over weird on the side, but this heavy duty hamper has been so nice and it just makes it easy because it holds all of his dirty clothes for the week and, um, you know, it's just great and it goes in the corner there and out of the way and it has a really big opening so that he can just throw his stuff in there and it will catch everything. That is what I wanted to share with you with regard to a young gentleman's room. Please let me know in the comments below, do you find it a little bit more difficult to decorate for the men in your life? That is something that I would love to know. I think that this was a real joy to be able to do and I, I just don't feel that it's as difficult for me because my the men in my life are very simple and you know my son is no different i have to say that it was a little bittersweet to decorate his room this time because i feel like it was for the last time so thank you so much for being here with me today and sharing in this and i really hope that this inspired you in some way please let me know in the comments below of all of the rooms, which one was your favorite. And until next time, I hope that you all take care and I will see you in my next video.